Huxley? Are you Huxley? I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. Wow. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pasha. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. Hold on, Pasha. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pasha anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended uh -huh. a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so CorpSec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest PI. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? They can? They didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning. Alright, the recording's Huxley, all good. were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. <laughs> her instincts were Look how, she, how he tells us there what was a time he's thinking. When I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now I played a role so well I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Interesting. Anyways. Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired. But that place was where I slept. So I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction what makes him half illness. right? But what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a <laughs> note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Ooh, but no, I'm not even there yet. Place was. I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? What note? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. What note? Did I go to the wrong place? Or what note? Am I stupid? Oh, repair lift. Um, where am I supposed to go? What is Traffic this? Traffic accidents reported in sectors one, two, four. Hey, got a minute? Sure, oh, you got hey, a look. minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? <laughs> you gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they, they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. What? I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're no. a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. Oh my gosh. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always come back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. Okay. Meet Jimmy real high. Okay, well, um... Alright, I'm down here now, but I don't think there's anything for me. I'm really trying to figure out what it wants me to do, but it seems like that lift right there is the only thing to get there. So, I need to figure out how to get an electronic part. Alright, Merchanto. Here's what I can offer you today. Oh yes, an electronic part. Thank you. I'm gonna take two just in case. Can I sell you stuff? Ah, uh, did you want this piece of? <gasps> wait. That's a wait, that's a bank account. Thanks. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a bank account. 
I look forward to seeing you again. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's limbs in there. Anyways, uh, we'll do that after. I'm about to sell that card too. All right, so now that we got the electronic parts, I bought two just in case this ever comes across us someday. We can go over here and repair the lift. Shit's going up. Oh gosh, is this the right way? <laughs> yes, we've made it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. Oh, We're goodness. We're not taking him there too, are we? Hey, hey, couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck her neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Good, good, good. But where is the limb machine? Uh, cause, ooh, it's just down there. Yeah, you guys welcome. I fixed your lift. Come on, come on. Ooh, sweet money. Yes, it's here. We can see it from here. I know what we need to do. Alright. Now, if I click I for inventory. Okay. 1C652. 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 Let's go i did it come to me money i did it but oh man that's the first time i actually did a mission to so the android di dating ag agency it doesn't say if and it's if it's androids who want to date humans or androids who or humans who want to date androids, or androids who want to date androids, or humans who want to- or, Wait, hold up. <laughs> okay, now where's my car? Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Good, good, good. Man, look at me. Whee! I can fly. Anyways, we need to get over there. Soon we'd be at the Blue Chewy Jazz Bar. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I? We have an incoming call. Yeah. Control? No. Oof, it thank is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. How did I get our phone number bad. or car through, number? I or... guess. What in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. What do you mean? You got like a thousand money limbs. And my time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth what? was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't oh, stand okay. for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame Man, would come. That's taking a weird Who's turn. And why is control not giving us uh, things? Yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. 
The offer I mean, was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. I guess you don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus, just let it go. I know, that Camus, just let it go. Uh, this is funny. I like this. Oh, yes, right on the crack and. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Alright, uh, the, uh, Huxley. Please tell me you don't follow me. Yeah. Why do you follow me? <laughs> Come on, Huxley. Took you long enough. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call stop him. thinking out loud because <laughs> he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burned out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way oh back. Gosh. But Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than. My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows, and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> uh huh. But as you can see, I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <coughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley. I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pasta? You've been asking around town. Oh, yeah. Word gets out. <laughs> You've been asking literally, bro. I a gig a few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Uh -huh. Even if I don't look too good these days, what with all the rust and all, while I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there. Oh, my gosh. Talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look, I don't like squidding like this. <laughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? I think I might have to make Huxley, this Huxley thing. Minute, okay, I can't into believe two I'm getting sucked into this. Parts. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> uh, Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter. This is some really interesting lore. The champagne. But you In speak the way too many or not sense. Raguan says he's right dangerous, on, and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. What? Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he oh my gosh, we've become detectives. We're no longer like delivery drivers. Him, but he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, Pashta. Sorry. <laughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we picked uh -huh. it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. Yeah, he speaks past tense Mahalo. as a narrator. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. Yeah, we, you know, we keep saying that, but you, you know what's funny? That doesn't happen. Exit. <laughs> I think not. Anyways. Oh, we're no longer packed. Parked on the crack. Alright. He's still here? Why is he still here? <laughs> They're just taking him to one more place. I'm with Camus. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Oh my Camus, gosh, ouch. we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Mero Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Raguan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing CorpSec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. 
Sounds huh? like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan and the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. Yeah. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds new like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an F point. What? Sorry, what? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Oh no, not control! Yeah. No, not at all. Completely free. What? Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You'd you go out with me? Can I <laughs> to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. Another all coffee? Right, uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's like just see clouds. what we can find at Raguan's apartment. I didn't realize it, but at the spire, we could actually see the sky. Which is interesting because some people took an elevator to the sky, got to see it, and then died. Which was weird. Ouch. We. <laughs> That's the same speed I was going it into it. Um, uh, oof, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make this Huxley thing into two parts. This has to be like the second part right now. Look, it it has to be because I do not have enough time for this in one episode. Man, I love this lore though. It's amazing. Don't get me wrong. Here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. You know, I woke up today by the most beautiful sound. It was, it was an amber alert, you know. That's just that's just the sound you want to hear when you wake up first thing in the morning. Gosh. Some update on this poor, like, two-month-year-old kid and their parents ran off somewhere. I'm not even sure what happened, but it was when... Aurora, so it was really far away. Uh, anyways, that's nice. All right, where was I? Right here. Then we go up here, so we find the nearest parking spot. If we go fast enough into that light pole, we don't get hit. Oh boy. E e e e e e e e. Look, wait. A school bus. A regular bus, you never know, but still it's kinda cool. Get out of the way. Ah. Okay. Just uh see there. Right. For sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to? I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class Ooh. act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. <laughs> I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed Wait, was me a Huxley smile following brighter me? than the sun. Yes, Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. <laughs> Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. Be no, careful, I didn't. <laughs> I love. I hope you <laughs> save Pasta. Uh -oh. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. Man, you're so nice, Huxley. Shush, I wish I could be you. All right, thank goodness that's over. Okay, got another Will punch card. Okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? 
Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. Why do you not let Camus know anything about this world? Ah, whoops. Ah, oh, gosh, itchy. I like how we've only gotten two punch cards. Hey, kid. Um, you free now? Finished your coffee? Yeah. My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower. Labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. All right. Now, as much fun as that is, this will be the end for whatever episode number this is. This is probably the second or third part of Huxley. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm actually going to keep playing to make more content, but uh, yeah, come back soon, I guess. Bye.